fresh, the shooting starts. You have a president talking about the Second Amendment as a use for people to come out here and use firearms against the people that are protesting. This is the messages that we're seeing. I don't know if you on social media because the news don't tell you everything. But you have to pay attention to what's going on. Or else we're gonna we have a, a president that's trying to incite a race war. And when the borders are closed, we can't leave. You have people in here that need your help. This is when you and y'all, y'all stand together with the community, with society to stop the to stop the governmental oppression. Period. I, I, we I need you. I agree. So, well, so then march with us. March beside us. You you get your people. Y'all march beside us. March beside us. March yeah. beside us. Let the revolution be televised. March beside us and, and show us that you're here for us. Make history, Make history with us, please. Hey. Let, 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 let's just do it. March with us. We'll start marching and you march with us. I can't leave this post. I will march through this street with you guys to that next intersection. I don't know. I will march from this intersection to that intersection, but I have to control this area. Control. What is it the control man? March with us. It was send. It was send a huge message. We just march. Just march with us. March the whole round with us. March you and your men. Y'all protect us. Protect us. Y'all march with us. March around like we just did. Do that march with us. Y'all stand beside us. No, you don't because you the protector. So if you 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 can't patrol yourself. If it's you that's supposed to be patrolling us, then walk with us. I'm also protecting some of these businesses. Okay. Okay. Can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Can you take a kneel? Can you take a kneel? I don't know. They ain't enough for me. They ain't enough for me. They ain't enough for me. Let me see you take a kneel. Thank you. Let me see you take a kneel. Let me see you take a kneel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let us kneel together. That ain't enough. Let us kneel. Let us all do it together. Come on. Everybody, let's all do it together. If you against George Floyd, take a kneel. Let's all do it together. Oh, you're in the back. Take a knee. Take a knee. I think, you know, though the kneeling, it can be seen as a walk in the same direction, you know, we all can also see that just moments after in some of these cities where we've seen the kneeling, we've also seen the tear gassing and everything, the chaos afterwards. So I feel the reality is we have a president that with every tweet incites divisiveness. You know, some would even say a situation where our military has orders to unleash on its citizens. And so, you know, obviously everybody has a choice to make in, in working for the government, whether you are a policeman or working with the National Guard or politics. I think I, as a citizen, want to know what side of history you're trying to be on. Like, is there a person in that mm. uniform? I know there's a person in that uniform, and I want to know that the people that are in these powerful positions of saving or taking a life, I want to know they're with the citizens and committed to taking the stand against the system and the injustices. And if we are unified, no matter who you are, what you're wearing, then we create change. You know, buildings can be rebuilt, but once lives are taken, they're gone.